I'm Amanda Seegers, I'm a junior, and I'm in the BSN program. Leadership isn't just about someone actually leading and taking over, but it's about working as a team and coming up with like a plan and everyone working together. It's not about one person taking over. The previous two classes believe they learned some material, um, but as one student said in one of the um, development plans that she had written, this was the first time she had seen group work actually mean something. And, and to me that was huge because it said that, that the student got the concept and we know they had outcomes, positive outcomes with their service learning project. So, it was a win-win. Service learning won, and, this, and we won because the students actually got the leadership content. I loved teaching um, with the Service Learning Project. It was, um, it was just a great experience for, for us personally and for the students. Um, again, watching them grow and watching them um, really give back to the community, they absolutely um, blew our expectations out of the water. We really didn't know, so this being the first time we had done it, um, really kind of what they would come up with. Um, so I think we probably set the bar a little too low because they really um, totally overwhelmed our expectations. It was, it was tremendous to watch. It was interesting to see them both have a lot of pride about what their project was and how they were successful with their project but also to hear them use the, lang the lang leadership language and use it quite fluently. They, they really, they got it. And, and that was truly fun. <laughs> we have 10 people in our group and we got together and we're like, okay, what should we do? And our, immediately, our immediate plan was let's contact businesses to see if they would like to donate. And so we drafted a letter and we made flyers and we contacted these companies, which did not turn out very well. <laughs> um, so we immediately went to plan B, which was let's play on everyone's strengths. So people are in different organizations on campus. We work at different places. Our parents work at different places. So we were like, let's contact kind of the people we know and see what we can do. And we ended up raising a lot of supplies. This project just enforced me wanting to be a patient advocate and how to be a patient advocate and to think about the big picture. It's not just about being on the floor and helping the problem at hand, but about looking further. Some of these families are from out of state and they're having to live in the Ronald McDonald House and the Ronald McDonald House does a great job with letting them stay there and giving them what they need. But sometimes we forget that there's other things going on and it can be really hard for people to have to uproot their lives and come here for weeks at a time for a sick child. So it's, it's about looking deeper than just the problem at hand in the, in the patient's room. It's about looking at everything else that's going on in their life, in their family's life that could be affecting them.